Imagine a dinosaur that was a cross between a velociraptor and a crocodile. That's the Australovenator, a fearsome predator that roamed the Australian landscape millions of years ago. Today, we're giving you the straight story about this prehistoric beast, uncovering its secrets, and exploring the superpower that made it one of the most terrifying creatures of its time. Discovered in Australia, this dinosaur lived during the early Cretaceous period, around 95 million years ago. Nicknamed Banjo, it was a medium-sized theropod known for its speed and agility. Australovenator had sharp, recurved teeth and powerful forearms with large claws, suggesting it was an adept predator, possibly preying on smaller dinosaurs and other animals. Its discovery has provided valuable insights into the diversity of theropods in Gondwana during the Cretaceous. The Australian environment during the time of Australovenator was quite different from today. During the Cretaceous period, Australia was part of the supercontinent Gondwana, and the climate was generally warmer and wetter than it is now. Large areas of Australia were covered in dense tropical rainforests similar to those found in modern-day Southeast Asia. Coastal swamps and marshes provided habitats for a variety of aquatic and semi-aquatic animals. Deserts and arid regions existed as well, especially in the interior of Australia, as they do today. Australia experienced significant volcanic activity during the Cretaceous period, which shaped the landscape and influenced the environment. Overall, the Australian environment during the time of Australovenator was a diverse and dynamic place, with a variety of ecosystems that produced a wide range of animals and plants. But what is this fearsome predator's superpower? One of the most shocking facts about the Australovenator is its speed. Estimated to have been able to run at speeds of up to 50 kilometers or 31 miles per hour, it would have been one of the fastest dinosaurs ever known. This incredible speed would have made it a formidable hunter, capable of catching even the swiftest prey. But what kind of prey did it like to eat? And exactly why was it named Banjo? More on that in a moment, but first, let's talk more about this awesome Aussie's body type. Australovenator was a bipedal theropod dinosaur, meaning it walked upright on two legs. It had a slender build, similar to that of a modern-day large bird of prey like a hawk or eagle. This lightweight frame allowed it to move quickly and efficiently, making it a formidable hunter. One of the most striking features of Australovenator was its long, powerful legs. These limbs were adapted for running, with long, slender bones and muscular attachments. This is why we think Australovenator was capable of reaching high speeds perhaps in some cases even rivaling the modern-day ostriches, which can reach speeds of up to 70 kilometers or 43 miles per hour. Its forelimbs were smaller and more gracile than its hind limbs, indicating that they were primarily used for grasping and manipulating objects rather than locomotion. The hands had three fingers, each with sharp claws that could have been used for tearing into prey or defending against other predators. Considering the size and predatory nature of the Australovenator, it's unlikely that any other known dinosaur would have preyed on it. However, there are a few potential scenarios. Juvenile or injured Australovenators would be prey to apex predators. This means smaller or injured individuals might have been vulnerable to predators like large crocodilians or even carnivorous birds. Australovenators could have been targeted by even larger predators, such as theropods like Tyrannosaurus rex or Giganotosaurus. However, these dinosaurs aren't known to have lived in Australia. Any animal that is sick, old, or dying is an obvious food focus for other dinosaurs. However, it's important to note that these are speculative scenarios, and there is no definitive evidence that any specific animal preyed on Australovenator. For their time, they were one of the effective rulers of Australia. Australovenator's skull was elongated and narrow, with a large, well-developed brain. This suggests that it was a relatively intelligent dinosaur, capable of complex behaviors such as hunting in packs or even using tools. All its teeth were sharp and serrated, ideal for tearing into flesh. Overall, Australovenator's body type was well-suited for its role as a predator. Its combination of speed, agility, and sharp senses made it a formidable hunter in its ancient Australian habitat. Australovenator is a fairly recent discovery, only just found in 1989 in the late Cretaceous Greenman Creek Formation of central Queensland, Australia. The holotype specimen is a partial skeleton including a skull, vertebra, ribs, and limbs. It's currently housed at the Queensland Museum in Brisbane. This holotype specimen provides valuable information about the anatomy and size of Australovenator, allowing scientists to reconstruct its appearance and behavior. While Australovenator is a relatively well-studied dinosaur, there are still some scientific controversies surrounding its classification and biology. 
One of the main debates is its exact placement within the theropod dinosaur family tree. Some scientists have suggested that it is closely related to birds, while others argue that it is more closely related to other theropods like Allosaurus. Another area of relative uncertainty is the exact size and weight of the Australovenator. Estimates vary quite a bit, but it's generally believed to have been a medium-sized theropod, reaching a length of around 6 meters or 20 feet. A 20-foot dinosaur that can run up to 31 miles per hour is pure nightmare fuel. Australian rules football players are known for their speed and agility, and if they were lucky, they might escape the clutches of an Australovenator. While exact speed records are difficult to come by, many AFL players have been clocked running at speeds around 25 to 30 miles per hour, or 40 to 48 kilometers per hour, but for very short distances. Additionally, there is surprisingly some debate about the exact nature of the Australovenator's diet. While it is believed to have been primarily a carnivore, there is a possibility that it may have also consumed some plant material, making it an omnivore. So what kind of prey would be in a race to the death with a highly omnivorous Australovenator? Basically, any small herbivorous dinosaurs were fair game. These would have included ornithopods like Mutaburosaurus and small sauropods. Pterosaurs existed at that time, so flying reptiles that lived alongside Australovenator, especially juveniles or incapacitated individuals, were in real trouble when meeting it. Several different types of crocodilians and marsupials were abundant in Australia during the Cretaceous period. These also would have been a part of the Australovenator's daily diet. But why exactly was this monster nicknamed Banjo? The nickname Banjo for Australovenator likely stems from its long, slender arms and fingers. These features resemble the shape of a banjo neck, leading to the playful comparison. It's a light-hearted nickname that captures the dinosaur's unique physical characteristics. The irony is that this creature did not live and play in harmony with others, and likely picked the bones of its unlucky victims, and not banjo strings. Bravo for taking the time to learn about the banjo dino, one of Australia's most fascinating dinosaurs. From its sleek predatory design to its place in the prehistoric landscape, Australovenator offers a unique glimpse into the diverse ecosystem of ancient Australia. If you enjoyed learning about this agile hunter, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Primalia for more exciting content. Share with a friend who loves ancient biology as much as we do. Stay curious.